Good morning, boss. Good morning. How are you today? Good, good. So we're out here mowing. We're getting ready to do these ones. We're doing all our ones one. in the... Well, yeah. We really oh, yeah. Now. We only do one here. Um, we're doing all of our residents. Most of the ones in Buncombe County we did yesterday. We're going to finish up today because after today, we're not coming back to this county, right, boss? Yeah. I, I think that we may unfortunately be deemed unessential in Buncombe County at this point. Um, well, starting, I think, tonight. So, um, until that gets overturned, we do not want to put a mark on our name, even though we don't have, you know... Lettering or anything, and we got rid of a lot of Buncombe County ones. Um, but we're going to get these done because they can... The order will go... It'll be until April 9th. Yeah. So, we can go two weeks. It'll be a little bit less than two weeks without mowing some... Sorry, it's so busy these busy. guys are, yeah it's really busy everybody must be like just up against the wall like trying to get as much done as possible because um you know the press conference so we're gonna get ours done up here and we can go like i said a couple it would be like 10 12 days we can go 12 days without mowing some of these and um, these ones are also on the verge of bunkum and henderson like they're yeah. so close to henderson that it's and we don't think they're going to do that in our county. No. Um, I don't think they're we're, they're going to abide by a letter that was sent out by the agriculture department. Um, and yeah, our guys I sent already... us. So we have it all printed out just in case. But it's actually from the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. So it's signed by the commissioner of agriculture that states that we are an essential service. So we're going to get this Buncombe County ones done and then just we'll just case. play it by ear. So yeah. when we get to next week, when we're supposed to do them again on Wednesday, they might change something because of, I mean, a lot of our residents and a lot of our people that are, are customers don't understand why lawns can't be mowed because they're we're out older. Here by ourselves. I mean, the clients that we have are older that we've had for many years. They're not going to go out and buy a mower. And they can, they can, two weeks won't hurt us, but if we get, I'm, I have a feeling at the end of two weeks, it's going to be then two months and then, then what do we do? I no, mean, well, we did have a client call us last night actually, and she was ready to go out and buy a mower because she heard that this was going into effect and, um, she was afraid that we weren't going to be able to get to her, but she is absolutely Henderson County Yeah. and, um, and our neighbor. So worst comes to worst, we can drive through the woods to go mow her. Yes. Yeah, so, so we're going to, oh, and we did lose a client from this already. Mm -hmm. Um, he said he had to cut back and in some ways. So, and it was a pretty big account. It was fertilizer, yeah. aeration seed, the whole nine yards. Yeah. But we had a feeling because we seen he bought a lawnmower last week. You guys remember that video. Yeah. And it's no big deal because we don't, it's the only one we have in there. So it happens. It happens. Yeah. Well, we're going to get to work now. So here is the first two, we're, uh, first one we're doing. Rachel mows down to a certain point. And then I do the whole hill part here. That's what happens. We're at 11 o'clock in the morning here, maybe 11.30, and this is how long the grass stays wet. Okay, I gotta start weed eating all this down. So I 
don't think I got an after on that job right there. Oh, you didn't? I got it during the boss cut in that hill. It was really wet. It was really wet. So I think we're going to mow this last one here in this county, right? Yeah. Because we were told that we should not be, we shouldn't come to Buncombe anymore. I just received a letter from our um, agriculture guy who I told you yesterday. I don't know if you put that in the video, right? No, I didn't do that video yet, but it's probably in there. Okay, so um, I told you guys yesterday that he sent out that according to the North Carolina Department of Agriculture, we are considered essential. In the state and low, uh, in the state, right? Yes, in the state, but, um, and according to Homeland also. Yes. But that counties can oversee Override that, that override and put that. stricter laws. So we just found out Buncombe County is... A stay in place order, I think. Um, and they deemed lawn care as non essential, but we just found that out. So we are going to mow this last one in the county. Um, and then we're going to ski that yeah. back into our county because they're not going to, I think they're going to allow the green industry in our county. Yes. Yeah, so in. the last update that I received also said that they are meeting in Henderson County as we speak. Um, and they'll let us know. But they are there to advocate for the green industry. Our, our um, head of the the agriculture department is there to uh, advocate for us and that from what he understands as long as we have this letter as of right now we are good to go in Henderson County and so uh, on that note guys we understand so we'll when we're done this one I have to do this one he's a, a veteran he's really older and they do not have a lawnmower um, so I'm going to mow him and explain to him we can't come back until April 9th. Hopefully they don't extend it out further than that. But we, the lawns in two weeks, yeah, they'll be a little long. If We're going to go a little shorter today. If it goes three weeks and we can't mow in Bumpkin County, we're just going to have to, when they finally allow us, we're going to have to double charge, mm -hmm. maybe even triple charge. And I hate to say that, but I mean, we're going to be at lawns for a lot longer. Um, just depends on how long it goes. I mean, if we can't mow for a month and a half, then we're going to be charging people probably $300 to get the yard back into shape each time. We're just going to take each day at a time. And our biggest suggestion is just to um, contact your local. 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 Yes, your county. Your county. Don't, don't rely on people in other counties because every county, from what we understand, can supersede the state. Yes. So. And contact your agriculture department stop overbearing everybody at the the courthouse and all them your agriculture department should be able they will be able to tell you and we have a guy who's been updating us every few hours because like we're on the day. list but if you call them and get on the list to get emails to receive emails to receive updates they will update you so okay let's get out and mode it. so here's number two of the day um rachel's gonna go a different way on this one so i'll get you an after i'm not gonna record this one today i'm gonna mow the front here so that's not the one we're mowing, guys. I'm gonna show you the boss's stripe. She's showing off today. Nice. This is the second mow for this one. It's a shame we're not gonna be back here for, we had it on weekly, but we're not coming back until the 9th at least. Let's just hope it's sooner than that, but gotta do what you gotta do. The client didn't understand why we weren't considered essential. We're running into that with quite a few clients. But it is what it is. So she can't do all that I don't think because there's a lot of water right there. So she's only going to strike to where she can. Um, I'll come back down here and get it afterwards, but it's looking nice. So that spot's really muddy, guys. Even though I should be weed eating right now.
is a new one we picked up. I didn't show you before, it was long. But we have to aerate, seed, do all the mulch beds in this. So we're done this one, number three. I, look, look where we're at, guys. Yeah. We are up on the mountain. We're gonna weed eat this one real quick, blow everything out. Rachel's gonna pull some weeds, and then we'll be done. Do you I have bucket? a bucket? For all you, all the new subscribers, this is like the best view up here. Um, many of you guys have seen it already, but it's over here. And because of... You can still see our house down there, too. Yeah. We're down there all the way in that valley. Let me see where. You might not be able to see it from here. Oh, was it back there more? Yeah. Oh, no. I can see the blue. The blue barn? Our blue barn. Yeah. But here, this is the side right here. We'll give you guys a drive by. We had to like give them all our names and everything because of the virus to get in the front entrance. They need an accountability of everybody that comes in. Mm -hmm. Look at it up there. We need a four. And I'm assuming we didn't get these six houses right here, boss? Uh-uh. So we're not worried. No, even if they do, because it wasn't done very well. So if they know us, we can't get them in the Yeah. No more. We're full. We are full. 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 So I didn't record much of the last one, just the view from the top. Um, Cause there wasn't much to do there, just blowing and weed eating. But the boss informed me that, remember that cleanup we did on that beautiful landscape where one of you guys commented, that would look nice with a fresh coat of mulch. Well, they're asking us to mulch the whole thing now. Yeah, don't jump the gun yet. We don't even know if we can get mulch, but... Yeah, but she requested that her husband wanted to mulch, yeah, so... her husband said that we should mulch now instead of waiting, so... So, that's a big project, guys. 50, almost 50 yards of mulch, but we got to make sure the mulch yard's going to be open, and we're not sure it might not be for another month we do that one. Yeah. Right? And we kind of have to get our hands on... Either fix our open trailer, I don't know what. Or we're borrow doing. one from a friend because that's a lot of mulch. Yeah. So we're gonna mow this one. It's a new. I'll show you before and after, not while we're mowing. So let me get to work. Yep. So this one's done. Rachel's throwing some seed in that spot. This is a new one. Okay. So boss. Yes. Good news, right? Yes. We got word from the uh, our ag guy Steve or. Mm -hmm. Whatever he is sent, they just got out of the meeting from the commissioner and they deemed lawn care and landscaping as essential services um, to keep on mowing and going as we can. Now, Buncombe County, we're not allowed back there. They deemed us as bad. Yeah, and he just, they didn't deem us as bad. They just deemed us non-essential and... He said that we should follow the rules right yeah. now. Yeah, and we're going to up there. I'm, some of the clients don't understand. They're like, well, can you come and mow anyway? And I'm like, um, we can't do that. Yeah. So wait it out. It's only, what, till the 9th of April for Buncombe County. Yeah. And we adjusted everybody in Buncombe County this week. So if it goes two to three weeks, a double charge, and we'll get it back on track. Yeah. So... But I think if it goes any longer, you are going to see a lot of the guys because there's a lot of guys we know that only service Buncombe and they're a little stressed right now, right? Yeah. And, and they have every right to be. I mean, but. I mean, I think that I would be more stressed if we didn't have more work in Henderson and the opportunity to pick up more. I mean, if it goes on in Buncombe County for months, then we are going to lose about 30% of our business probably. Yeah. So, but we're going to get out. It's all right, guys. We just need to keep going. I didn't get the boss weed eating. She weed eated the whole last that property. That was terrible, you guys. My arms feel like jello. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get to weed eat everything now. Yeah. So, let's go. Okay.